Hey. Oh, am I glad to see you. Hey, I'm just gonna take off. Where's everybody? Uh, Parker is at a play date. Jack is out with the baby, and I have been shopping for diapers for a 13-pound newborn. Hope you have good news for me. Um. You know what? Actually, I'm thinking maybe this isn't the right time. What? No, 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 no. No, too late for that. What's up? Okay. Honey, you know I love you, but... What? No, don't ever start a sentence like that again. You love me, but what? I've been thinking about Rosanna, okay? And about what she said about you cheating on Jack the night before your wedding. Yeah. Is there something you want to share with me? Like what? Rosanna was so off the mark that she should have been committed, right? No. I mean, she is just a little vindictive cow because you didn't, you couldn't have slept with anybody the night before your wedding to Jack. Could you? Oh, my God. It's true. You did it. First lesson with your mommy. You never know what to expect with her. Who knows what she's got cooking up in there? Okay, so here's the plan. The second you get uncomfortable, you just start yelling your head off and I'll get you home quick like a bunny, okay? Deal? Deal. What are you two sillies doing out here in the cold? Look at my little Jackie. You little angel. Oh, come here. To... Oh, my goodness. I was just baking cookies. <laughs> I don't want to get flour all over my little muffin. Why don't you come on in? I'll clean up. Remember the plan, buddy. You get weirded out, we take off. Hmm? Okay, pal. We're gonna need a new plan. Where's my little sweetie? Oh, who's got angel eyes? And candy toes and baby soft skin and a little... What kind of sick joke is this, Julia? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? What's up with you living in the apartment where you doped me up and attacked me? As resident shrink and guardian, I assume you know the whole story? I am familiar with her psychiatric history. Yeah, what about her criminal history? I had the same concerns about this location, Why Detective Snyder. Why the hell Snyder. let her rent the apartment? Oh, actually... Look, I, I convinced him. I wanted to prove to you that the woman who hurt you no longer exists. Who hurt me? You nearly killed me, lady. You mutilated my ankle, kept Little me prisoner. Jack, he changed all that. He changed my life. Oh, that's great. I'm glad to hear it. And good luck with that. Well, since you've got your doctor here, he can oversee the visitation. I gotta get going. Oh, oh, no, no, no. We, we have a surprise for you, don't we, baby? Yes, we do. Oh, there it is. Now you have to stay. Come on. Oh, okay. What now? Right there. Oh, it's Photo Felix. Photo who? He's a photographer. He is going to take the first father son pictures. Isn't it exciting? <laughs> Honey, we have been through everything together. We've lied to our men, we, we've lied to our enemies, we never lied to each other. So who says I'm lying? Oh. I did it. I did it, and I am I was wrong. I, I, I regret this more than I have regretted anything ever in my entire life. If I had just come home, if I if I decided to not kill two bottles of champagne, if I decided to go after Jack and, and convince him to change his mind, then I wouldn't have done it. Honey, I wouldn't have made this stupid honey, mistake. Honey, breathe, okay? One night stand, not the end of the world. It could be the end of mine. A one night stand is not just a simple one night stand if it's the night before your wedding. Okay, all right, so you had a little bad timing too, but we'll fix it. We can, we'll fix it. We'll stop Rosanna and we'll keep Jack from knowing the truth behind the rumor. How? You're crafty, cuz. I'm a semi-respectable woman now, so I can cover for you, okay? I just need to know all the details so we can sync up our stories. You think it'll work? I don't know, but it couldn't hurt. Now, I need to know the answer to the big question. Who was the guy? It was Craig, wasn't it? Oh, give me some credit, Molly. No. Was it that cute bartender from the Lakeview? Molly! Did you pick somebody up in a bar? Gross. Hey. 
Hey, easy. Mike and I met in a total dive, but nothing happened that night. No names. That's fine. Okay, all right, no names for now. But we have to get started on an alibi, Carly, and it can't be me because I was busy trying to keep Jack from calling off the wedding. I know. Did I thank you enough for that? Don't you mention it, honey. I owe you that and more for the things you've done to help me out with Mike. Mike! That's what? it! We'll get him to say that he was with you at Monte Carlo. No, no, no. You, you, you're gonna... Why not? Mike, Carly, I think it's a really good idea. Don't involve Mike in this, okay? Okay, fine. I mean, it's not like we could get him to lie anyway because he doesn't do that. He wouldn't lie if it was for all the right reasons. There's enough of that going around anyway. Hey, what if you said that you went to my place and just hung out there all night? Hey, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how much longer I can lie about this. Do you want to stay married? Because unless you're planning on telling Jack the truth... Where is Jack, anyway? He's with his psychotic ex-wife. He's with Julia? Yeah. And she rented out my old apartment. Yes, the same place where she abducted him. And we are sitting here whining about you? I mean, I know that I've had my moments of self-absorption, but... Moments. Carly, if my husband went off to go drop in on somebody that did to him what Julia did to him, at the scene of the crime, I would be a lot more worried about my husband than me at the moment. Where's Dr. Weisskopf? Helping the photographer you had no business hiring. I'm sorry if I upset you, Jack. That's kind of hard to believe after you crashed my wedding. Oh, you, you mean like Carly crashed ours? Yeah, she didn't show up with a kid trying to pass it off as mine. Look, if the kid's mine, I've got a whole lifetime of uh, to take pictures with him. But if, if he's not... Jack, I'm not asking you for a kidney or for your forgiveness or for your love. I'm just asking for a few pictures. Since you weren't there for the birth of your son, I think... No, that no, you stop did... calling him my son all the time. But he is yours. And all you have to do is look at him. Size. All right, just cute let's just leave it up to the DNA results, all right? Just a few more days. I could be in prison in a few days. If there's any justice in the world. All right. Listen, Jack, here's why I arranged for all this. I may not be in Jackie's life for very long, so the most important thing that I can give him right now is a father. If he sees these pictures one day, he's going to realize that his father loved him from the very beginning. I don't care. We are not doing this. You're all he has, Jack. We, we both know that after the court reviews my case, I will probably end up in prison or in an institution for a very long time. You know, I'm trying not even to hold Jackie very much right now. I want him to bond with you. I don't want to saddle him with images of a mother that he's never going to know. Ah, right, like you wouldn't expect me to schlep him up to a state prison for visiting day. He never has to know I exist. You expect me to believe that? Jack, please. I understand that I broke the trust between us a long time ago. I'm not asking you to do this for me. I'm asking you to do it for your son. Okay? It's, I mean, it's just it's just a few photographs. I really don't see how that's going to hurt anyone. Please stay for Jackie. These pictures. Just me and the kid. That's it. Thank you. Felix, you're a genius. I had a photogenic little subject. <laughs> when are the proofs going to be ready? I'll give you a call tomorrow. All right, can I get going? My wife's waiting for me. Oh, 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 oh listen, I, I just, I have some new clothes I want to give you for little Jackie. Just one second, okay? You know, she hides it well, but the separation's very difficult for her. It's really not all that easy for anyone at the moment, Doc. I'll go and make sure she's all right. Can't be that easy for you, too. Either, huh? But don't you worry. Uh, we're gonna get everything settled and figure out where you belong. Uh, I promise. Things are gonna get better. That photo is screaming to be taken. It's really clear how much you love your son. I keep replaying all the horrible things I've said to Jack over the last couple of days. 
I guess I was so worried about what this was doing to our marriage, I never thought about what it was doing to him. Carly, Julia is the one that has done terrible things to Jack, okay? Like keeping the two of you apart like she's always done. So how do I make it right? Honey, there's a concept here that you haven't fully absorbed yet. You're married now. Oh, I know. Yeah, you know, but you're not feeling it. You and Jack finally have everything you've always wanted, okay? You won. You're here. The ring, the house, joint checking. You're married. and Start acting like well, it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Okay, well, try harder. Try like your life and your future happiness depend on it, because they do. You know, I hate it when you're right. Molly, do you think that Jake would have forgiven you for something like this? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, as long as it wasn't a friend or anybody he knew. Otherwise, all bets would be off. I gotta get out of here, though, okay, honey? Listen, you have grabbed the brass ring. Don't forget it. Don't let go of it. I love you. Bye. Bye. Well, I guess I'll take out the trash. What happened to your sweater? Oh. Well, Jackie happens. It's just about the drooliest baby I've ever seen. Be expected at his age. Yeah, I scrubbed and scrubbed. Couldn't get the stain out. Going through about a billion blouses a day. There's just no time for laundry, so. But you do know that babies are supposed to make stains. Of course I know that. What do you take me for, a moron? Oh. I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. I'm just... You know, I think I'm so used to spending 24 hours a day with little Jackie, and without him, I hardly know what to do with myself. You'll see him again soon, June. You'll see him again soon, Julia. <sighs> Not too soon, I hope. Ugh, no child of mine would go slobbering around like that. It's disgusting. Stinky little thing. Bonfires or garage sales while I was out. So, uh, where's all the baby stuff we were waiting around in the last couple of days? It's upstairs in Parker's room, along with a brand new crib. You're kidding me. Oh, well, they came, they delivered it, and they set it up. I didn't even break a nail. Well, well, there's a lot of trouble to go through for someone who's only going to be around for a couple more days. I did it for us. This is our home, whether that baby stays or goes. And I'm your wife forever. Oh, okay. Then I guess you don't have a problem if, say, I wanted to rip off all your clothes? Mm. I'd only have a problem if you didn't. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> don't answer I'm gonna get it. Don't I'm gonna get, get it for it. Some baby. Hello? Carly, it's Mike. Uh, I just left Rosanna. We need to talk. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, hold, hold on a second. It's just Ma. I'll be up in a minute. I tell you about talking to her? You cannot negotiate with the devil. I thought I could get through to her. It's worse than I thought. I, I don't even want to know what happened. The only way out of this might be to tell her the truth. No. No, I cannot tell the truth right now. Not with the, the baby and Julia still around. Carly, I don't know about this. And you are not going to tell Molly. Do you hear me? Not yet. You promised me, Mike. <sighs> I won't say a word until you give me the go-ahead, all right? In the meantime, I'll, I'll figure out some other way to deal with Rosanna. Can you? I have to. I I gotta go. Okay. Bye-bye. Mrs. Snyder? Yes? Mm. 